the Sound on Sound at Music Messer 2015 on the RME booth with Matthias, who's going to show us a new audio interface, which is it's called the Babyface Pro, but it's not much like the original Babyface, is it, Matthias? Yes. Good morning, first. <laughs> How you doing? Um, we have really uh, re-engineered the whole unit. There's really nothing in this unit that is from the old Babyface. Um, the um, of course, the form factor is a little bit the same, desktop interface, yeah. you know? but uh, it starts with the housing. The old housing was die cast, the new one is machined from a block of aluminum. Mm. Nice. So it feels like that if you take it up, yeah, yeah. it weights like that. It's sturdy. It's super yeah, stable, sturdy. yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, the encoder is new, we have four new buttons here, the buttons have a very nice feel when you push them. Um, we have now no breakout cable anymore. Oh, that's this really is, uh, as you can see, XLR in and out for the main channels 1, 2. But these are not normal XLR sockets that you know from other units. Mm -hmm. You see they are integrated into the housing. It's a very special design to, to keep it slim. Mm -hmm. um, we have still one small breakout cable for the MIDI I.O. Uh, we have a lockable DC and we have a special USB plug. This USB cable is even included. If you put it in, then it vanishes in the housing, it's oh, super it stable, locks in, yeah. Yeah. it's still compatible to normal USB plugs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's not just going to fall out really yeah, easily? Of yeah, of course not. Yeah. So like, this is one of the many, many details, so many details that we uh, really brought into this new unit, uh, amazing. So how many ins and outs does it have, what sort of digital connectivity does it have, can you run us through all that? Yeah, uh, we have 12 in and outs, that means uh, four times analog in, four times analog out, Plus a speedif or a dat, you can switch that a channels. Okay, and the uh, speedif goes up to 192, does it? Or? Of course. Okay. Yeah, uh, we have here the two um, uh, TS jacks for input three, four, a high impedance, so you can connect anything from line uh, to guitar or bass. And we have two special headphone outputs. This is the same signal, so one stereo channel, but separated drivers for low impedance headphones and more high impedance headphones. Ah, okay. So, so for consumer and pro. Sort of yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, and in terms of the software that is that you're running, is it the same Total Mix FX? That is the uh, same uh, major USB driver that we have for all our series. Um, it's the same Total Mix FX as you can see here. Um, in, in that way, it's uh, very similar to the Babyface. So it doesn't have a dynamic section. Okay. Uh, that would have caused we would have needed an additional DSP chip, uh, more cur current. More costs, so. But it does have. Uh, not. Uh, it has. Uh, you have the equalizers, yeah. re uh, reverb, and uh, uh, stuff like that, and echo. Um, but I can show some some example here of the uh, again details that we put it in. Um, you can select here between the different outputs, logical, and then you just turn the wheel to change your level. Uh, I can change to another one here, one two, same same. But you have now have a, a key here called mix. And when you are the, the typical single person producing everything yourself, have a guitar here, microphone here, headphones here, yeah. you want to have quick access to your mix, and you have a simple, uh, you want to have a simple setup. So this is easily done here. Let's look here. We ha are now here on three, four, the main out. I push the mix button, and you see it jumps there. And when I turn the fader, it's input three, four selected. Uh, my input signal will come here. So I take the other output phones, go to mix, aha, automatically routed here. And but so the, uh, what, what the point is, is that this also works standalone. Right. Easy to understand. Before, we were not able to mix and root standalone with the old baby face. The new one can do that. Okay, cool. So how much is it going to cost then and when is it going to be available? Uh, this one has a manufactured uh, retail price from around 749 euros. And I hope it's available end of June. Great. Okay, thanks very much, Matthias. Yeah, you're welcome.